Hello people, welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel. Um, back on Gran Turismo 7 uh, in the Ferrari 458. As you can see in the background, I've made a livery for it. Um, so yeah, I've had my own little design. It's not really the best deliveries, but I thought as there's no liveries right now like f for the team, um, I thought I'd make my own one. So yeah, here's a little uh, photo shoot of... The absolute beautiful scapes, like escape movies and stuff. But yeah, no, so uh, we're going to be doing two races today. Um, I'm actually commentating a day later um, due to other me being busy. Um, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoy this video. Like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, here we go. So the first race, uh, we start in P5. Uh, we do have... Red Fox and Nutty Nugget in the lobby, like other RTR members. Uh, obviously, you guys should know Red Fox by now, as we've had some pretty decent races with him. Um, and Nutty Nugget is uh, a new guy, like in the team, so um, it's a nice, nice to see one of the new members join and uh, be in one of the races. So um, yeah, so we're starting P5. Uh, we've got uh, Pad. Uh, the German, uh, Red Fox and R Senior in front. Um, let's see how many positions we can get in this first race. So starting again P5. Um, we've got a couple of other uh, faces in here like Daily Bob. We recognise that name from a couple of races ago or whatnot. Um, but yeah, no, so we get a decent start. Obviously the Ferrari 458 has that little advantage uh, starting uh, the races. Um, but as you see the Super is actually in the... Uh, our senior is in the Supra and uh, yeah so that looks pretty uh, strong uh, for this uh, end of the week but um, yeah so we're coming to the end of lap one now um, we've caught just a bit more up to the front group and uh, as you can see we're starting to get in a tow a bit of slipstream and uh, we're actually gaining a lot more on uh, the Supra here so are we going to go for a move here no, we're gonna, oh yeah, we're going to go on the inside here. Slight tap, so I have to kind of let off and let him through there, um, which is kind of annoying. But he goes a bit wide there, um, but we're going to try and stay with him as much as we can. We don't want him to really slow us down. We're right at the back of him. Um, him, him breaking a bit more uh, earlier than I did, so it was kind of hard for me to kind of keep up a bit, but... It works, it works, but um, we just what we need to try and do is just get this move done and uh, hopefully get in to the top spots for the race. So, um, yeah, that kind of worked out a bit. Um, let's see, round coming around this corner. He has a bit of oversteer. I'll try and go on the inside. He just is a bit too uh, a bit too defensive there, and I'm going to try and hold on the outside there. Is it going to work around the outside? Maybe try and have a little switcheroo here. Um, he oversteers a bit again, I hit the back of him, uh, it doesn't really work out, but um, yeah, that kind of said it for that. But at the end of lap 2, um, I think all all hell came down on us uh, on, laps, on the end of well, the start of lap 3. Um, as you can see, we're just 4 tenths behind our senior, but, um, but as you can see, we are slowly getting back into the slipstream. And then we're going to go on board with the car behind, as you see, I go well too deep. I have very, uh, I have a lot of problems with that corner really um, in this week, as you see in the videos. But um, I think yeah, the Frenchman just goes in front and just covers that inside, and uh, it, it doesn't allow me to uh, hold that inside. And uh, now I'm behind the German. I'm in sixth position. It's not very good for a start of race um, on this video right now so uh, we're, we're kind of stuck behind this Frenchman now in the Sylvia the Sylvia has actually been decent on this track um, surprisingly um, like the top the top spots in the leaderboard are all Sylvia so um, I'm guessing that, that was the go-to car I just thought the Ferrari 458 was more stable um, but it is what it is and uh, yeah we're again we're behind the Frenchman of Ludo um, are we going to go for a move on the hairpin here? We're going to go on the outside, as you can just see on the end of the screen there. We're going to hold the outside line. Are we going to get the position? We're on the outside still, on the radar on the bottom right. We just get the better exit and uh, we get that move done um, on the Frenchman. And uh, we're going to be under a bit of pressure here. 
uh, from the guys behind us. We're like two seconds in, uh, two seconds behind um, the leading group um, of those cars. Um, they do look pretty close though, which is nice to see. Um, we're gonna go to the end of lap three. Um, we're two seconds behind, and then at the end of lap, well, coming to the end of lap four. Um, you see the gap comes down to 1.1 seconds. You see our senior goes a bit wide there. And um, that's going to allow me to catch up to these two very quickly. Um, this is three temps. So we're going to get a run down into the long straight here. We're going to go on the inside. Just going to not let me through. Um, I'm going to hold this inside. Try and try and get the overspeed of the Supra. But the Supra is just that bit faster on the straight line. And, uh, we have to like let off the gas there. Um, we're going to try and go on the outside here again, but it's just not going to work. I don't know what happens there. It might have been a bit of lag. It weren't me being... Uh, I was trying to be as, as most uh, respectful as possible there, but he just, as you see, he didn't really give me the space. And he kind of cuts across me, so I have to kind of try and back out, but then it seems to me like that he... Uh, he lost his control. And um, yeah, so on to, on to lap 5, and we're behind RTR Red Fox. Um, as you see in the previous videos, we have had amazing battles with him, and uh, this is probably going to be an amazing battle again. Um, so yeah, we're going to stay on board on this last lap. Um, as you see, around these little S sections, the uh, Silvia doesn't really carry the speed as much as the 458, which I noticed in this race especially. Um, and as you can see, we're getting right under his under the back bumper of him and uh are we going to carry the speeds not even we're not going to get a move done here there's no way uh, it's very tough to go for a move on this section here but um we're just trying to get the better corner in and the better exit of red fox here um as you can see we're right on his back bumper and we're maybe even going to try to go for a move here um it's going to be very tight we're going to try and move to the inside it's just not going to work um he does he does let me have the space on the inside but I didn't want to absolutely send him flying into the barrier. Um, so yeah, coming out of that hairpin, um, Red Fox is still in front, um, very close now. Um, Daily Bob actually is in fifth now as well. Um, the Frenchman, I don't know if it's a Frenchman, but um, Daily Bob actually passed him. So um, nice to see him up in the top five as well. Um, so right now, so into the long straight, um, are we going to get a move done on Red Fox in this long straight? Um, I think it happened last time. We're going to move to the outside. Are we going to get this move done and dusted um, side by side, coming into the left hander? Um, we've got we've got more we've got more space this time. We're just going to go a bit wide, but it, we li both leave each other, both leave enough room for each other. And uh, you see the radar behind. Everyone's really piled up, and there's something happens there. Um, I don't understand what actually happened, but I think the Frenchman, or um, I forgot the other guy, but I think the other guy kind of punted uh, Red Fox off, which is unfortunate. But uh, yeah, P3 for the first race, let's get into the second. So, uh, second race, we start in P5 again, uh, unfortunately Red Fox isn't here for this race. Um, we've got our senior still, um, and we've got the German. Uh, we've still got Daily Bob as well, the Frenchman and Robo Mags, which I saw from last race. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, it's going to be the same story, basically again. We're going to try and get as many positions as we can. Um, hopefully go for that top spot in this race. Um, so let's see how we get on. We've got Super, we've probably got a 458 of Monkey, the Aaron, the uh, Dutchman. And we've got a Czech driver up in front as well. So uh, it's nice to see some new drivers in this race. Um, so here we go, we start again, um, as you can see, um, we get a decent start, obviously the Supra is still fast in the straight line, um, and uh, yeah, we get a decent start, Supra gets really uptight against the uh, 458, and um, that kind of settles us for this first start of the race, and yeah, it kind of settled down quite quickly, I'd say. Um, but I think coming up now, um, coming to end, well not nearly the end of that one, but um, I don't know what happened to our senior, actually, I don't know why I skipped that, but um, as you can see I'm in P4 now, and uh, these guys up ahead are very, very close coming into this section, and um, look, how look how close it is, we're going to just um, follow 
on the 458 through and uh, we're going to get uh, P3 um, off of the check uh, place that uh, he actually started first but now he's in fourth um, so it kind of worked out well for me on this first lap we're in P3 um, we have a very good chance of winning this race so we're just going to try and um, get our way through uh, the Dutchman actually slows down a bit there getting a bit too close to the um, McLaren I think that was um, so yeah again kind of works out we're still in this battle for uh, P1 and um, yeah coming to the middle, middle part of lap 2 um, the German decides to uh, go a bit too a bit too much on that curve and uh, actually spins himself out onto the grass realm we're going to go board with him see if he actually hits Barry R um, just keeps on going keeps on going and actually just hits Barry R and uh, starts reversing and um, does a nice little 90 degree turn and uh, rejoins the track <laughs> but um, yeah I'm fortunate for that um, but now it is the battle for P1 both 4.5s at 4.58s and we're going to the outside here of Monkey and uh, we're going to try and hold it on the outside he gets a better exit and uh, kind of settled for that um, coming on to lap 3 midway through again um, coming around this, this right hand I, I do really like this corner because you, if you carry the speed you get such a good run coming into the hairpin and you can obviously get a move done and we're going to move to the outside here on the hairpin. Are we going to get the move done this time on Monkey? We're just going to keep the outside there, but it just doesn't really work out. Again, gets the better exit and uh, kind of just stays up in front there. Um, great driving from the both of us. We're trying to keep it as clean as we can. And um, yeah, that's kind of how it's settled for that lap, really, unless he actually messes up on these uh, couple of left handers here, um, which he isn't. He's going to keep it nice and nice and tight. Um, which I didn't really do. I'm trying to get a better exit out of these corners. Um, I, that's what I try and do. I don't know why. I should just try and stick to race nine and stick behind them. But um, here we go. So we're going to actually have a run on Monkey here. We're going to try and move the outside. We're just going to be squeezed off nearly onto the grass. So I have to let off the throttle a bit. And um, that's going to set with that for that left hander. So um, I just didn't want to. I didn't want to make any silly moves um, coming in to, like it's lap 3 and again our seniors behind we've got a big group behind um, so it's not like we're pulling away from the groups or we are still intact with the whole lobby as you can see on the top right of the screen like the whole the whole lobby is like it's not all split apart it's a decent lobby um, so that's what we'd like to see so uh, coming on to lap 4 um, again we're still stuck we're still stuck we're trying to look for that mistake we're trying to wait and just sit it out and uh, coming on to the hairpin of lap 4 um, we're going to just run a ball to me as we uh, get a bit of a better exit than last couple of laps and we're going to try and stick with this slipstream and uh, try and get a job done anywhere coming up to this so actually we're in the slipstream as well so we're going to try and switch to the inside here this is absolutely beautiful um, he just keeps the speed there, but I'm just going to tuck right into the inside there. No contact made at all. And uh, we're going to get the job done coming onto the straight. It is amazing how I've just done that. And as you can see, riding on board with the guy behind, our senior, I think. And um, yeah, you can just see I tuck it really nicely. And um, yeah, it gets done very nicely. Um, I've got to give myself a big props for that. But coming on to. Um, the end of coming on to lap of the end of lap four, and um, you got the two behind now, so they're going to be hungry for that P1. Um, I don't know what happens there; a bit of contact between them. So um, coming on to the end of this lap, so it kind of gives me a bit of breathing space. Uh, but there's a very hungry pack behind. As you see, the actual there's two groups now basically within the race in the top right hand of your screen. Um, so it kind of splits off a bit, but it's not like everyone's apart. So it's good to see, like this race, this race this week has been really exciting. Really, um, I've enjoyed it thoroughly. But um, yeah, so coming to the end of lap, end of lap four. So we're going to stay on lap five with the Dutchman. Um, as you see, I'm actually in front. Um, again, you don't want to be see me being out in front this whole time. We're going to gamble with the guy behind, who is literally behind us. Um, so again, this is all to play for, and. Um, Again, obviously, being in the lead, is you're going to be under a lot of pressure, especially in the last lap. Um, you really want to get the move done in the last lap. 
it either or be in the lead from the start but um yeah so again a lot of pressure on me this guy's one tenth up already on the fastest lap i know the fast lap isn't the best lap uh, of this lobby really obviously it's 11 0 um so you normally should be getting a 10.3 10.4 normally in these type of lobbies especially with the the better drivers um as well like a plus and a's and whatnot um as you see the second sector is four tenths up on uh, the germans uh fastest lap and uh, he's gonna try and move from the outside uh, in the inside sorry and uh i get a better exit this time so um i'm seeing like i'm looking a bit stronger um i see going back with our senior here you can see how close monkey is com uh, to me compared to the the driver behind and um this is where it all comes down to this final straight and uh, monkey gets very close um he's going to be in my slipstream i don't know how far the guy behind is but <clears throat> he's going to be well in the strip slipstream and hopefully we're going to have a, just enough space just so we can just keep around and uh hopefully not let them have a move on the outside or the inside and as you see seven tenths up um on on the german and uh you can see the super driver wants to look on the inside for the dutchman but just doesn't get it done um so that kind of settles it for the final race of this video and um, we're gonna end it in p1 um beautiful race by us starting p5 um again great we just about got the fastest that but then the dutchman did take it unfortunately but we're going to set it off with p1 um guys i hope you enjoyed the video um i know it was the longest of videos but i hope you enjoyed it if you're new around here uh subscribe and also like comment and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one see you later guys